Hey guys, Benzo Gold getting in the force right this second. I'll tell you what, the water in the river is up. It looks like they've been running the graders out here. They've been burning and foresting. There's a lot happening. They braided this. It sure is a nice day. It's kind of quiet out here. We've got some birds singing. I haven't seen this stretch since the big rains and the move, and that's more what's determining. I, I want to put eyes on it. You know, I might not get into much down there today, but there's a lot of log jams and things like that that, that fluctuate. I'm curious to see what it looks like. Down the initial hill, I'm at the bottom flat here. Hear a lot of birds acting up. Burned even down here. Now, uh, the spot I really wanted to see is a little bit further down from this, but I'm just going to walk over and see what the water's doing. Let's go take a look. Now here's one. It's about to bud. Yeah. Burgundy. Nice. All right, so I found that trail. I hiked through, made it down here. Here's the rocks. Looking good. There was a wall here. It's gone. That's my little poof from a test pan. So I'm going to be working in this area for the next little bit. You can see I got me a scoop pan, but that just looks like flood wash. Sometimes the flood wash around here is containing. No lie. Test pan number two. First one. Just flood stuff. Try to find some muddier stuff. And, and uh, that is a, a nice speck of gold. And there's a couple little tiny dots in there too. Huh. It's a good piece of gold. Let's confirm these results with another pan. Second pan, not exactly the same spot. There's still a good amount of black sands. And there's still some decent specks of gold. Three to five and some micros. So those two tests, I'm gonna call this pretty good ground I'm standing on. They weren't exactly the same hole. It's one of those, when you start working it, you need to start doing one scoop test as you go. You don't know if it's on the surface or if it's spread out just in the top 10 inches. So, but I got one more spot I'm looking at. And I gotta go do a test pan from there to see if it's even better. I saw a little bit of gold over there, but I'm gonna come back over to where I have my first two holes. And I'm gonna open this up and run some of this material. There's a lot of big rocks floated in. That's always a good sign around here. Big rocks, bigger gold. If the big rocks are getting laid down there, other things are getting laid down there. So I'm going to tear this out a little bit. It won't take long to fill that bucket up because this ain't clay. And that's not a full five gallon bucket. Sluicing area is down there, so i got to take my bucket. Bucket's full enough. But, so I know what to do after I clean that bucket out. I'll know what I got from this hole. But I got me another test pan testing the top layers. So I might need to just skim this. So I'm going to shake that down real quick and see what we get. Decent amount of black sand back there. Lots of gravels. And you can see some little dots of gold. Pink, 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 pink. Okay. Get the sluice set up. Give it three scoops. And let it tell me what to do next. How's it running? How's that left or right down here? I mean, I think it's right. It's looking pretty right. Maybe slightly right drifting on the top. You can tell by the, the heavies up here. All right, we got a pretty good amount of black sands in here. That's a good sign. And the gold? Yeah, it's in there too. So uh, let's just snuff this up, put the rest in the bucket, we'll tow it out at the end of the day. Rinse and repeat. Alright, we got bucket number two full, and just checking my trend, there's my hole. Mm, pretty clear water today. Here's the pan. Uh, do a test pan from either another spot or deeper, or where the trend's continuing. This is where the trend's continuing, 
and that is a really good test pan and I think it's getting better hey second run here it was even quicker to dig I think maybe and uh, take a look at this oh yeah we got a nice sliver in there hadn't tapped out but quite a bit of specks and flex and a nice sliver and um, that's what the test pans are for they're not a waste of time they let me know to keep skimming the top follow the big rocks follow the chert and don't get down in that good looking material down below but it's got a lot of fine gold in it but it takes a lot of those little tiny bits to equal that speck right there hundreds maybe thousands let's go we got bucket number three already done up real quick and I got my next test at the end. Oh, this time I test a good amount of black sands and just a test pan. And you're seeing gold. I mean, I can hit, get in there. There's some gold. The good thing is, is I have my quarter inch screen with me today. And so these buckets are a little bit more concentrated already. But I just get a little gold, easy digging, easy running. All I can hear is this creek right now, so there's nothing wrong with that. Just a quick update on bucket number three here. There is a mound of black sand in this one. It was probably quicker to dig. I was just continuing on with the outside edge of the hole and continuing on, not trying to go too deep, but that is thick. And you can already see the gold just sticking out of it. Oh, so this third run might be the best one yet. Let's shake it. Here we go. I just set one bucket. I think I just matched the snuffer with that bucket. Oh yeah. I had a feeling if I just start, just keep on. It's gonna keep on. <laughs> this is looking good. I'm gonna snuff it. But you know, there's gold in this stuff too. A couple times I've, I've, you snuff that back line and then you tap it again and you get more. That's why I'm saving everything. Bucket number four has got test streak and it is definitely a muddier bucket. There's definitely more sediment and mud in this. We'll see how that equates to gold and black sands and stuff in just a few moments. Yeah, you can see it from there. They are getting better and better. Hmm, that was a pretty good experiment. Bucket number five is full, but I took a right turn and I hit this and I, so I took a left and finished the bucket, but I come back for my test pan to test this. It's organics and clay. Is there any gold? About to find out, that's a decent scoop of it. That mud sure was nasty to do. And they look good in the camera, but you know, this ain't that much better than a, one of those easy pans from the deeper section. There's a little bit of gold in it, but yeah, that took some doing though. Here we go, bucket number five. Looks like less big stuff, but it's almost a smile across there. These are small little buckets too. Hmm. Let's keep it up. I'm gonna stay away from that clay. So take a left turn. I wish that was gold too. <laughs> Okay, this is still number five. I snuffed once, but some of the bigger stuff started, that black sand's still pretty thick in there. They're still uh, coming out of black sands. That's, that's even more impressive now. Okay, there's number six. Oh, I'm a little gassed. So check this out. Here's a test pan to the right, trying to avoid the clay. It was really dirty. It's kind of dark out here. I want to need to do this so I can even see what's in it. This is the test pan. Dang, that's not too shabby. I think I'm only gonna do one more bucket after this. It'll be like number seven. So I'm gonna do another test pan and see which one's better and that decides where I dig. Yeah, I made a big difference. Look at that. Hmm. Huh. Then we got a clear winter. It's about the same amount of gold in this one, but they all seem bigger. 
Okay, so there's a winner. So, all right, now it's starting to get a little dark, ain't it? It's been raining a little bit. It's just sprinkling right now. Barely feel it. But looking at this pan, maybe I should just forget about those two test pans except for that one to the right. Maybe not go that way. Um, but <laughs> look at this. Boom! That is a pan. That is a bucket, guys. Holy smokes. Couldn't believe it myself when I looked at it. Let's zoom in. Oh, wow. There's a lot of pieces. Oh, it's looking real good. It's getting dark. It's raining a little bit. I got the last run. It's a pretty good amount of gold. I was thinking it was maybe less. Maybe it is. But there's still more floating around there. Ooh. I'm going to snuff this up, clean it up, and start cleaning up my mess here. Ooh, got some mess. Right back with a snuffer dump. Hey, gang. Thanks for hanging out today and checking out this video. We found a little bit of gold. I got it all dumped out here. There's a little bit of a amalgam floating around through there. I don't remember if we saw that throughout the day or if I just showed up here at the end. We'll have to take a better look later on. But, uh, appreciate you coming along. Right here. That's a decent little streak for easy digging. I would have recorded more, but I was just enjoying myself out here and just having a good time, not working too hard. Seven lucky buckets. Good little smile on the pan. It's good for me. Till next time, get in the creek. Get that gold.